if I have, uh, I would just like a, a moment to add one uh, uh, final uh, note. Um, um, I'll, I'll begin actually with a question. How many of the 5.3 million people registered as uh, Palestine refugees by UNRWA are actually refugees from the Arab-Israeli conflict uh, under the 1951 Convention on the Rights of Refugees? Now, this may seem to you a, a, a somewhat repetitive of a point that was made uh, uh, by uh, um, uh, Inat Vilf and by Tzipi Khotobeli. The, the number, if we use the definition normally that normally appears in Articles 1B and 1C of the Convention, the number would probably be somewhere around 80,000 people. But that's not the point that I want to make. The actual number of refugees from the Arab-Israeli conflict among those 5.3 million, under the terms of the Refugee Convention, is zero. And the reason that it is zero is Article 1D of the Convention. Article 1D of the Convention says that the Convention does not apply to persons who are present receiving from organs or agencies of the United Nations other than the UN, High Commissioner of Refugees, Protection or Assistance. What that means is, according to Article 1D of the Convention, any person who receives protection or assistance from UNRWA is stripped of all rights under the Convention. Okay, again, any one of those 5.3 million people that UNRWA calls Palestine refugees and gives services to is not entitled to any one, zero rights, under the 1951 Convention. What that means is things like, if you look around us, if you might have heard there's a, a very uh, vicious conflict going on in Syria, um, when uh, refugees from that conflict reach the border, they're examined. If they have the, the flaw of having a parent or grandparent or great-grandparent who lived in mandatory Palestine for two years, and they receive aid from UNRWA, they're turned around at the border. Jordan, Lebanon have turned away thousands and thousands of people of Palestinian descent, and the, while the UN uh, human, uh, it's, well, UN uh, 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 HCR uh, representative is there, will, does nothing about this. And the reason that, that the uh, UNHCR do, rep, uh, representative does nothing about this, even though um, they are willing to operate under the terms of the 51 Convention as non-parties, is that Palis people of Palestinian descent are stripped by the existence of UNRWA. As long as UNRWA exists and provides them services, they are stripped of rights. UNRWA is the only agency of the UN that, by its everyday activity, strips people of their human rights. It is an anti-human rights agency that is, by the treaty definitions, the only thing that it can do, the only way that it can provide services, is by stripping people of their rights. The moment it provides some of these services, they lose their human rights. It's, it's a travesty. And as long as UNRWA continues to exist and provide services, as long as it continues to be that vehicle, it will continue to be depriving people of their human rights. Thank you very much.